let me tell you something I know about President Trump. I talked to him over five years ago about the issues of Black Lives Matter, about what he could do to, or what he felt he could do to aid and assist and enfranchise the African American community. And he said something that I thought was very profound. He said, I really believe the cause of a lot of crime in our inner cities is number one, lack of employment, number two, depressed living conditions. And he said, if we can improve the living conditions, give them homes and neighborhoods they can be proud of, uh, and that they are safe in, and we can provide good income so it would take away their motivation to engage in any illegal or criminal activity, I really believe we can affect the change. I'm in agreement with him. And he's basically uh, going to be behind any and everything that makes sense and that can help not only the black community, but help the American community as well. I know you're taking some flack. I know it took a lot for you to come here. I know it took a lot for you guys to even engage with me. Right now, I'm probably the uh, number one Uncle Tom in America. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm probably the number one coon in America. But everybody that knows, you know, I came out them streets. I ain't never been nobody's coon. And if you ever watched me engage with our president, first of all, he doesn't, he don't roll like that. And I don't roll like that. He and I have a horizontal relationship, face to face, eye to eye, man to man. However, now that he's president, our relationship by necessity had to change. It's now a virtual relationship because he's my president. 